Hey, Shalom, first of all, to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Kwakadash. Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. I want to give a double honor to the apostles of their millstone. Let's talk about this truth. I want to give a peace and blessing to the Akim across the four corners of the earth. We teach this truth from risk. They like to do so. It's going to be a quick video. Oh, when the video's edifying. Lowly, I can get something from this video. Just quick uh, video, get a couple of precepts here in Surat. Um, and low willing is edifying, man. And, uh, you know, low willing, you brothers get something from it. Um, and low willing, I get something from it. Basically going into, uh, you know, um, you know, rich is got by deceit, you know, and, uh, the kingdom is translated, like it says, in Sirach 10 and 8. And basically going into, you know, who's ruling over the, the world right now, you know, who's rich, you know, which is, he's soon going to be thrown down. Okay. This is Sirach 10 and 7. It says, pride is hateful before the, uh, most high man. And by both doth one doth one commit iniquity. Now, pride and, and I made a video talking about pride, man. Um, the last video I made, you know, pride is the devil. <laughs> you understand? Pride is the devil. You know. Now, the person who controls this world right now, the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. They're they're the most pride. They're the most prideful, man. And they got the people in the pride pride uh, a prideful mentality, right? Because Amer uh, this modern day Babylon hasn't been really touched yet okay but it's going to be touched you know pursuing to biblical prophecy okay that's why you know pride doesn't profit anything man okay for us israelites we're not to be proud man the best thing you can do is to be humble okay one of the best things you can do is to be humble okay and always stay fair in the lord man okay it says it says uh it says um because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Yeah, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and uh, in, uh, it's like it. because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. And if you look how Esau has took in the world, he stole it. He lied. He raped. He robbed. He murdered. Right. That's, and that's what they do. And, it, and you know what's, what's crazy is that that's like it was part of their blessing, right? They had the fatness of the earth, but that they, it seems like they they were all on one accord. All just the tribes of Edom, as far as having this world, was on one accord. You know, with one mission, as far as uh, as with one mission, as far as um, you know, taking over land and even now, right? These motherfuckers will go to these uh, islands. Right. And put their money, whether they're putting it together or however they got their money and go buy different parts, you know, different, you know, land in the islands and all that, you know, and the natives to that island. Right. Don't got shit, man. Don't got a motherfucking thing, man. You know. Like, but is it but always keep in mind that this was his blessing, man, the fatness of the earth. Okay, and the sword is his blessing, and he's and he's living by it. I was thinking about that today. This motherfucker live by the sword, right? A person who lives by the sword, that's not a peaceful person. That's not a person you should, because that's his first resort, right? That's his that's his first go to, and that's what he relies on. That's his God, right? It says, um, it says, um. Why is a matter of fact, let me uh get this COVID. Right here. This is Micah 2 and 1. It says, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is lit, they practice it because it is in the it is in the power of their hand. They covet fields and take them by violence. Okay. Now let's go to Let's go to that in the blue letter. All right, quick. This is Micah 2. And um and 2, let's get that word for uh covet real quick. Covet. Hamad. That's how you say it. And they covet. Come on now. Come on now, get right. Oh, I can't click on the uh Oh, there you go. Cover. It says to desire to take 
to desire, covet, take pleasure in, delight in, to desire, to be desirable, to de delight greatly, desire greatly, desirable. Uh, right, and they desire this land, right? Covet, though. It says, um, delight, desire, goodly, lust, pleasant, precious thing, right? Which, you know, they covered after that, but hold on. Let's go to the, um. Yeah, there we go. Better. Okay, it says um, yearn to possess or have something. Right? So, yeah, desire. Right? And they covet fields, right? And it says what? They take them by violence. Okay? It says, uh, it says um, in Micah 2 and 2, it says, and they covet fields and take them by violence. Yeah, so they desire fields and how they take the fields or desire land and how they take the land is by violence and houses and take them away so they oppress a man and and his house yeah and they're good at that that's what they've done that's what they do right that's their mo okay it says a man in his house even a man in his heritage therefore thus said the lawyer how will behold it says even a man in his heritage right they remove uh 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 landmarks right <laughs> Which is wicked. It says, uh, therefore, thus said the Lord, how will behold against this family? Do I uh, do I devise an evil from which ye shall not remove your necks? Neither ye neither shall ye go haughtily for this time is evil. OK, my oh, point was in two. Now let's go back. Right here. This is Sirach 10. Um, and I get uh, back in on. It says, why is earth and ashes proud? There is not a more wicked thing than a covetous man. And, and, and you know, someone who's covetous is, is that's man. Somebody who covetous, that's a motherfucker that, that's a grimy, what we could say in the world, that's a grimy nigga, right? That's a grimy ass nigga, man. Okay. You know, but Esau, you know, want what you got. I want what you got, right? Let's grab this. Um, where I want to grab it in. We get it in Ephesians 5. That's good. Let's get that word uh, covetous real quick. All right, it says uh, Strong's G 4123, play a nectes. Play a nectes. Play a nectes. Okay. It says one eager to have more, what belongs to others. Greedy. Of gain, a greedy motherfucker, right? One eager to have more, what belongs to others, right? They covet fields <laughs> and take them by violence, right? Covetous. Scriptures say what? Be not covetous. Don't be a covetous man, man. Okay, which is evil. Okay, which is evil, man. It says, uh, Ephesians 5 and 5, it says, uh, for this ye know that no whoremonger, nor unclean person, nor covetous man who is an idol idolater have an inheritance in the kingdom of Amashiach and of the Most High. Okay? So this, see, we instructed not to be like that, but our enemies are like that. So our scriptures say what? They covet fields and take them by violence. They desire to have one's possessions. And take them by violence. That's what the fuck they do, man. Okay, so how can you, how can you reason with a covetous man? You can't reason with this motherfucker.
because he want what you got regardless. Right? It says, um, I'm going to read 9 back. Sirach 10 and 9, it says, Why is earth and ashes proud? There is no, there is not a more wicked thing than a covetous man. Whew. For such an one setteth his own soul to sell, because while he liveth, he cast away his, his bowels. The physician cutteth off a long disease, and he that is today a king tomorrow shall die. It says, For when a man is dead, he shall inherit creeping things, beasts, and worms. And this is why you should not be prideful. It says the beginning of pride is when, because what, where, why, earth, why is earth and ashes proud? Like it says in nine. Okay. But you can't tell Esau that. I can't tell this motherfucker or the heathen. You can't tell them to be, oh, why are you prideful? Why are you? They're, they're, they thrive off pride, man. Okay. Right. It says the beginning of pride is when one departeth from the most high and his heart is turned away from his maker. Okay. So that's the beginning of pride is when one. Uh, you know, is when one departs from the most high, but you know, scriptures say a haughty spirit before a fall. Okay. Now, obviously, you know, we apply that, right? A haughty spirit before a fall, but how much more how much we, we you could also apply to Esau, right? He has a haughty spirit. Right? But guess what? He's gonna uh fall. This rulership is gonna fall, it's gonna be overthrown. Okay. It's going to be overthrown, and you people who trusted in this place, it's going to be to your shame. Okay, let's get that. Isaiah 31 is, and 1, it says, uh, matter of fact, Isaiah 30 and 1, it says, Woe to the rebellious children, said the Lord, how will that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. And this is that modern day Egypt. Okay. But even our people, right? They want to strengthen themselves and have this modern day Egypt as, you know, they have it, they rely on it to the point where they want you to could tell them about the Lord, but they don't care. Right. Cause they're so, submerged into the into this poison into the bullshit that's been pumped to him okay it's just three it says therefore shall the strength of pharaoh be your shame so the strength of this modern day egypt is going to be your uh shame so like it says therefore shall the strength of pharaoh be your shame so this modern day uh 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 egypt right is going to be your shame it says in the trust in the shadow of egypt your confusion Okay, so that's why we out on the highways and ballways teaching and preaching his word and making these videos telling our people to get right before it's late. Because look, I'm the scriptures say that this place is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. The things that you're seeing right now is prophecy. World War Three is prophecy. Russia going against America is prophecy. Okay, these play the beach. I hate the whore. These different places. That's prophecy, man. Hating this place. That's prophecy. Right. So well, how do we get out of this? See, you can say this to Jake and they'd be like, well, we got to get out of here. Well, get out of here from, for what? You shouldn't want to get out of here by a ticket, because if it's meant for you to get what you're going to get, you're going to get what you're going to get, regardless of where to, where you go. Right. But you should want to get out of here by getting right. So the Lord could protect you in that day. People that forgot about the Lord, man. Our people that forgot about the Lord, man. Oh man, let's get out of here. We need to go. There's dual citizenship. For what? For what, man? Get right. Get right to the best of your ability, man. And and have faith and hope that the Lord deliver you in that day. Call on the Lord. The Father name is Yahweh. The Son name is Yahweh Shai. That's who we call on. That's who we that's our God. The, the God of the Israelites, man. The so-called black man, so-called Native American man, so-called Latino man and woman by way of your fa uh, father's side. Okay. So, man, that's what we, that's, you know, that's what, but see, <laughs> America didn't, they made you forget because you trust in this place so much.
but this place has been against Israel since, since, since it's been established, man. Underneath the rulership of these Edomites and these heathen. Okay? Well, these Edomites and, you know, the heathen, which is their counterparts, right? Their allies, their buddies, the, who, which they're in confederate and cahoots with each other, you know? You know, but hey, we telling our people today to get right, man. You know, and Lord willing, the brothers that are in the know and the brothers that got this truth, including myself, could stay right to the best of our abilities and hold what we have until Yahweh Shah come back. Okay? So with that, man, Lord willing, videos edify, Lord willing, I can God something from this video. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shim, Yahweh Shah, Baha Shim, I want to tell you, brothers, to keep pushing on to the next. Shalom.